Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Alex and today we'll be working on the normal hardtail. No e-bike today because I've got a bit of a story behind this one and I just want to explain and talk to you about it. So, a couple of days ago, had a bit of a rage quit and I threw my bike across the lawn. I broke the brake lever and it came a couple of days ago, but I need to bleed it now. So today's video is going to be bleeding that front brake you're going to come along with me. Uh, if you want to know how to bleed a Mugura brake, then we've got the kit here. So these are the parts that were left when the bike got launched across the lawn. We've got our T25 tools. I hear that you need to level this off, this brake lever off, and then, uh, yeah, we should be away. See how it goes. We've got a couple syringes, a couple tools, tripod, and Magura brake blood. I don't know why you can't just use mineral oil, but I've got the actual stuff just so I don't screw my braking system up. But other than that, Let's get started. Disclaimer, sorry about the noise of this stupid squirrel. It won't shut up throughout the whole video and I just had to deal with it. So what I'm doing here is I'm pushing the syringe through the caliper at the bottom and because I don't have a funnel for the top, I'm just going to wait until oil seeps through the top. Not the best way to do it, but it's the only way I can do it and I've heard it works before, so I'm just gonna do it anyway and nobody will be all right. And there we are. I would say, when it starts coming out of the top like that, that's all good. I just had to wait until the oil began to come out the top. Um, so as it seeped out the top, I stopped, put the cap back on, and I reckon it's bled. If it's that easy, then Magura, you've done a very good job making your brakes. I was just pushing on this syringe here, and it did feel like it needed to fill up a lot, because when I put the new brake on, the master cylinder at the top hadn't had oil in it. Um, it wasn't pre-bled. So all the oil that was lost there, I needed to push back in, which I reckon I've done. I'm just gonna undo this now from the caliper and then put the cap back on. The bleed hole. Make sure that I haven't got any contamination onto the pads because then you'll probably need to get new pads if you can't burn them off. I've tried doing it in the past, trying to burn them off and it just, doesn't really work as well as it did before. So, and I know because it's a four pot brake on the front of mine, uh, Magura NT30s, it's gonna be quite expensive for a new set of pads. I'm gonna put my wheel back in and see what happens. Like I said, guys, if you're looking for someone professional to do it, then make sure you watch a professional video because I haven't bled Magura brakes before. So if it's that easy, like I said, it'd be amazing. Um, but if not, I'm gonna take it down to the bike shop and just see if I can do it there uh, in a better environment because at the moment I'm outside and I don't have the correct resources, clearly, because I don't have the funnel. I thought it would have supplied it in the kit, but um, obviously not. Let's have a look. So it's the moment of truth. Has it worked? It has, <laughs> no way. So this screw here, this adjusts how far in you want the brake lever to be. Um, but that's quite good where it is actually. And the one at the back, perfect. As good as new. Should we do some back garden stunts? Oh yeah. Back garden needs a mini pump drive, I reckon. <laughs> 